Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. Corey and I have been keeping a secret for a few months now and uh, this video is about the secret that we've been keeping. Uh, back in February we rescued another horse because everyone was telling us that we needed to rescue a gelding so Charlie would have a friend. So we rescued a gelding from Bowie, Texas Livestock and uh, this was his video. We have lot number 9418. This is a sorrel paint gelding. He's a Belgian standing at 17 three hands and 17 years of age. Really big Belgian we've got with us today. So he's got a little paint marking under his belly right here. He's got uh, white stockings on three. Hard to see with all the mud that they have been in. Um, but nice big horse right here. Being at the Amish, has been driven. And uh, lady dropped him in here said uh, had the Amish used him on the farm etc uh, she got him she drove him a few times and he's been kicked out in the pasture so if you want to drive him again he'll just need probably a good tune up get him back lined out but he's just been a big pasture pet the last while so she just can't feed him anymore uh, if you're interested in helping him out just go to our website BowieTexasLivestock.com and click go to wire horses you'll see him listed on there so that's Finn or Phineas. Uh, we, uh, it's taken us so long to announce him because he has been quite a challenge. He isn't like the rest of the horses that we rescued. He was actually a very spicy little meatball. He, uh, every time we tried to uh, get anywhere near him or touch him or try to pet him, he would turn and try to kick us. Uh, we figured that out as soon as we got to uh, the livestock yard and um, Tony, who's, who's usually there, uh, tried to halter him and we saw exactly firsthand uh, how much of a spicy little meatball he actually was. Um, so this was a little bit of a video from when we picked him up. We figured out from the start that Finn was going to be a little bit difficult. As you can see from this video, Tony is trying to halter him at the live dockyard. I'm sure he was uneasy just because he didn't know where he was, um, but he was very difficult to halter. Uh, I didn't get a video of it, but there was another girl that came in and actually got him haltered. Um, but it did take us probably a, a good 20 minutes to get a halter on him. So we knew from the beginning that we were going to have our work cut out with him. We did finally get a halter on him. I did not get a video of that because he was trying to kick everyone that got near him. Um, we did get him into the trailer and into a secure position where he was tied off in the front without anyone getting hurt. Um, he was a little bit uneasy in the trailer, but when we stopped for fuel, I was able to get a closer look at him. And again, he was extremely underweight. He didn't try to kick me here as I was petting him, which was a good thing, but he definitely needed some love, affection, and definitely lots of groceries. He was eating hay in the trailer and that's always the first thing that these rescued horses go to do is they go to get the fresh hay that's in the front of the trailer that we bring for them. So we were really happy that he was eating and that he wasn't having any stomach or colic issues or any signs of that. And then once we picked him up, once we picked him up and got him back here to the farm, uh, we got more a taste of his actual personality and how spicy he really was. Um, so this is a little bit of everything that happened when we got Finn and uh, some of the challenges that we faced with him. Uh, so this was, this was Finn. After our four hour drive from Bowie, Texas Livestock, we got Finn back here to the farm. All the horses were very curious about the new horse that was coming in on the trailer. After seeing how Finn reacted about getting loaded at the stockyard, we were a little concerned about how it was going to be getting him off the trailer, so I didn't take a video of him. But these were his first moments of just getting off the trailer and getting used to the farm and seeing all the other horses that looked exactly like him.
Not knowing how Finn was going to react his first night on the farm, I did check in on him a lot on the camera uh, that we have out in the barn. And this is the very first horse out of all the horses that we've ever rescued that I've actually seen lay down inside the barn. It was very comforting to know that he was relaxed in his environment and that he was able to relax and get some sleep. The first few days, we gave Finn as much space as possible to relax and decompress and just get used to his environment. The first couple days, I was a little bit concerned that he was laying down a lot, but Dr. Wagner told us that it was okay as long as he wasn't rolling around and he was still eating and drinking okay. So I think he was in a very stressful environment wherever he used to be and we were so glad that he was able to decompress and relax and get some rest. So after a few days of him getting some rest, we started slowly sitting out there with him more and um, coming more into his space and trying to get to know his personality a little bit more. Every morning when I would go in to feed Finn his Alpha Pro and his hay, I would always sit with him for a little while just for him to get used to me being there while he was eating. He definitely did not want to be touched or petted or anything like that. As you can see from this video, um, anytime he tried to approach or tried to pet him, he would just walk away. He'd turn his back and walk away. Um, so that was definitely something that I wanted to work on because I was very hands-on with all these horses and he was just so much different from anyone that we had had. So I tried to spend as much time as I could with him, especially when he was eating so he would learn to trust me and that it was okay and that none of us were going to hurt him. Easy. Yeah, we don't like to be petted. It's okay. We'll work on it. Yeah, it's like a boy. After a few weeks and we knew that he wasn't sick, we started letting the other horses come down by his run so they could meet him. That's Sophie on the left and Miley on the right. They seemed to like Finn right away and Finn seemed to like them. So it was a start in the right direction. This is Freya going to meet Finn and Freya on the other hand did not like Finn and pretty much still doesn't like Finn. <laughs> Cammie, on the other hand, absolutely loved Finn, and she used to go down there every single night and see him after dinner time, and she would just hang out with him, and they would touch noses like this, and it was the sweetest thing. Um, Cammie's usually kind of grumpy around other horses, um, but apparently she took a liking to Finn. This is Finn and Paisley meeting each other. Paisley seemed to like Finn as well because there were no scuffles. The first time Aline met Finn along with Charlie, neither one of them really seemed to like Finn. So it's been a little bit of a challenge getting them introduced. We've done it very slowly and given them a lot of time behind the fence before we actually turned him out with the rest of the herd. So this was Aline and Charlie's uh, meeting Finn for the first time. Everyone kept commenting on the videos that Charlie needed to have another gelding as a friend. Apparently, Charlie was perfectly happy being the only gelding on this farm. So as you can see, he has not taken well to Finn's arrival.
from the time that we got Finn till the time that this video was shot was probably a few weeks. One morning I went out there to feed him and he was distracted by his Alpha Pro and I walked up next to him and started petting him. This was his first realization of what love really was and that I was not here to hurt him and that I was always going to be here to protect him. So once I started giving him some belly scratches, his lips started twitching and from this moment forward he was totally fine with anyone petting him. At one point during me petting him, his entire body was shaking because he was just quivering all over. I'm assuming with happiness and joy that I wasn't hurting him, and he just enjoyed being petted and scratched on and loved, and this was one of my favorite moments with Finn. Since this was the first time petting him, I didn't know how long this was going to last, so I put my camera down on the ground to get another angle because it was really hard to actually give him belly scratches and record at the same time. But I caught this angle and you could just see how much he was enjoying it and how he was leaning into it and just enjoyed every moment of belly scratches. And after a little bit more time, Finn learned that everyone would give him belly scratches, and then it was belly scratches from everyone from here forward. Are you excited? Do you want to go out and run around? Yes, hold on. Go back up. This was the first time that Finn was going out into the paddocked area by himself. All the other horses were out in the pasture and we were finally giving him a little bit of freedom. He still was learning to trust us. Obviously we could pet him now, but we weren't quite sure what he was going to do once we got him out into the paddocked area and definitely didn't know what we, he was going to do out in the pasture. So we wanted to get him used to the paddocked area and coming back in at night until we could really know what he was going to do and how he was going to react. Finn's first adventure out in the paddock was going really well. He kind of just ran around like this and I stayed up against the barn. However, after a little while, he went to that back gate and wanted to go out with the other horses and started kicking at it. So I walked out into the paddock area to try to make sure that that, that back gate was closed and he charged at me and that's what this video was. Couldn't really see him actually charging at me, but you can definitely see him trotting away. This was our next challenge with Finn. I was not hurt in the process, but we were gonna have a problem getting him back into his run at night. And that was another thing that we needed to do because we couldn't leave him out by himself in the paddock area because the pasture doesn't have a water source. So the horses needed to come back in. So our next challenge was going to be trying to get Finn back into his run at night. And since we couldn't approach him to put a halter on him, we needed to come up with an alternative plan. Corey reached out to one of his co-workers that trains horses and breaks them, and he suggested that we just keep him moving in the direction that we wanted him to go. We did try a training stick, but however, that wasn't working because we weren't getting close enough to him, and we really didn't want to get kicked at this point. So Corey got the lead rope and kept him moving in the direction that we wanted him to go. And as you can see, every time Corey did approach him, he did turn his back. But as soon as Corey got him to move his feet, he started to catch on to the fact that we wanted him to go back into the run. Finn was still working through trust issues with us and did not trust us yet completely. He was working on it, but being in this open environment was a lot different for him. So he definitely needed a round pen, but we don't have that right now. So this was the best that we could do to keep him moving. And basically we did work him like we would in a round pen, just a much bigger area. After a little while, he realized that Corey wasn't going to give up, and we kind of think that he got tired, and he did eventually go back into his run and finally figured it out that that's what we wanted him to do. A few nights after we had troubles getting him back in, we did let him back out. It was so nice to see him rolling around in the dirt and actually relaxing and being a horse. So this was him laying down and doing some rolls for the first time out in the paddock area. 
Every night we went through the same process. We would let Finn out and let him run around for hours. And then Corey would have to do the same thing to try to get him to come back in. I usually would stand out in the paddock area and just watch him to make sure he was okay. He never would really come by me and just did his own thing, sniffed, rolled around, and, and just did horse things. Until this one night, he walked up to me in the middle of the paddock area and wanted his belly scratched. From this moment forward, I think he completely started to trust us and followed us wherever we wanted him to go. There was no more fighting with him to try to get him back into the runs at night. He just followed us in and we closed his gate and it was such a peaceful experience and we were really glad that he was finally trusting us. Finn had the same process every night. He would run out of the run area all the way out to the back gate to check on the other horses. And then he would slowly make his way back over to me to get his belly scratches. And that's what these couple clips are from. Good job, Finn. Good job, buddy. Good job, you'll meet the new girl tomorrow. There were some nights that I was able to catch clips of Finn with other horses. This was one night when I went to go bring him back in. He was standing out at the fence area with Aline. It looks like they're making friends and they weren't trying to kick each other. So that was a good sign that they were making strides towards becoming friends. However, on the other hand, Charlie still wanted to murder him every chance that he got. And this was just a clip of Charlie and him out in the paddock area. Um, Charlie just does not like Finn for whatever reason. I'll go with you, it's okay. They're mostly nice. Yeah, I'll walk with you. Finn was a little bit unsure about meeting the other horses. Now the donkeys were on the outside in the pasture area and Charlie was still inside of his run. So he was just meeting the mares. So that's Anna and Paisley over there on the left. And then Aline, Freya, Miley, and Sophie are at the big round feeder. So Finn just kind of went out there and did his own thing and ate from his own feeder and then started mingling with the other horses. And this is kind of what happened. Clearly, Freya still hates him and didn't want him anywhere near the feeder, so she chased him off. Um, no one got hurt, so I was really glad that he didn't get injured in any way, shape, or form. But the mares can be a little bit testy sometimes, especially when it comes to food. And then Big Mama was not having any part of him coming in near the feeder as well. So this was Aline chasing Finn off and telling him who was boss. The first time I let Finn out into the 40 acre pasture, I walked with him about halfway. He did keep walking and when he turned around and realized I wasn't next to him, he came running all the way back to me. So this was a super sweet moment and I'm really glad I was able to catch it on video. What do you think? Is it a good pasture? Like all the other horses, Finn found the scratchy tree. We definitely need to get them some kind of pasture brush because they all do this and this poor tree is just not going to make it. <laughs> Finn
Finn also met Jack the donkey out in the pasture. This was a super sweet moment because Jack is always the greeter of all new animals to the farm since he was the first to arrive here. Finn walked around the pasture most of the day and spent some time with the other horses. That's Sophie right there. And I think Miley's behind them, but he kind of hung around with Sophie there for a while. And when I went back in and came back out later that afternoon, much to my surprise, Finn actually bonded with Anna. So this is Finn and Anna out in the pasture. Um, I don't know why they have a bond, but they definitely have a strong one. And from this moment forward, they were inseparable. I was really happy that Anna and Finn bonded. Anna kind of always did her own thing and was never really part of the herd. So I'm really glad that she's found a friend in Finn. The next morning, I was surprised to see Anna sharing her hay with Finn. She usually doesn't share her hay with anyone, and she was also sharing her hay with Mabel the donkey. That's Mabel right there. Everywhere Finn went, Anna followed right behind. This was one night when they were coming in for dinner out of the pasture area, and she just followed him all the way back into the barn, and she really never leaves his side now, so it's a super sweet moment, and I'm glad that they have such a special bond. At some point along the line, Finn and Aline made friends, and Charlie was apparently not very happy about that. But I did catch Finn and Aline out in the pasture walking together, and I thought this was sweet that he's actually formed a bond with a lot of these horses. This was a recent video of Finn and Charlie out in the paddock area. Finn was still in his pen after eating dinner and Charlie walked up to him. This is probably the first time that I have seen Charlie not try to attack him or bite him. So apparently since there's more geldings on the farm now, they have a new understanding and maybe they've formed an alliance. But once we work through all those challenges, like I said, it's taken quite a bit of time to get used to Finn and Finn to get used to us. And we just work slowly with him. And now he's a great horse. Um, but I had to do this video before I did uh, Dutch and Lena's video because it wouldn't make sense to you, everyone uh, who this other horse was. So. And thank you all so much for watching. We truly appreciate your support. And thank you to everyone that has sent us gifts and Alpha Pro and uh, things off our wish list and donations. Um, all of this would be possible without your help and we really can't thank you enough for for everything uh, there were some big um, rubber buckets that came the other day without a gift receipt so I'm not sure who those were from um, but just wanted to say thank you and we truly appreciate your support and fly spray thank you all so much for sending us fly spray the flies are being horrible here now right now especially with all the rain so those are definitely coming in handy <laughs> we have no more secrets you know about all our horses now and uh, we'll keep you up to date that's our surprise and it's been revealed now so uh, we're so glad that we were able to finally share this video with you and that uh, Finn has fit in so well with the rest of the herd so it was a little bit of a challenge but we got through it and um, we're so glad that we were able to uh, save another horse so again thank you all so much for your support and we will keep the video updates coming and uh, thank you to everyone that has subscribed to our channel make sure if you're new to this channel you subscribe uh, subscribe to our channel because we've always got something going on here and it's never a dull moment thanks again so much for watching we truly appreciate your support and we will see you soon bye